If you've ever suffered with an excruciating back condition, you are really going to appreciate this presentation. So take whatever time is necessary to listen, as a little time spent here can totally save your life. I'd like to talk with you about an excruciatingly painful condition called lumbago, or lower back pain. Did you know medical research documents this is an $86 million gold mine annually for hospitals? Lower back problems are as prevalent as arthritis, diabetes, and cancer. Each year, 31 million Americans have a low back problem, and this is the single leading cause of disability worldwide. Lower back problems are the second most common reason for visiting a doctor, outnumbered only by upper respiratory conditions. Now, the promoters of the medical remedies for these problems, namely drugs and surgery, do not want you to hear this information. But there is a viable, permanent, and natural healthcare solution for most lower back issues, especially those with herniated discs, called the Trebbing Method, or the Low Back Cure, which I'm going to give you an opportunity to connect with at no cost in a moment. Keep watching as I explain how this natural, non-invasive treatment can save your life and better yet, save you from the rabbit hole of medical failures from drugs and surgery. To get the point across, let me introduce you to Reed and Todd, two quite similar, hardworking family men who both had success with the low back cure, but came to visit Dr. Trebbing from very different avenues. Both men work in the banking industry, living, working, and playing within the corporate megastructure of the tri-state area. Both have families with children and are quite athletic enjoying golf, tennis, squash, and distance running. A chronic low back condition severely interrupted both of their lives. However, shutting off their ability to live comfortably and even do their job without constant pain, both came to rely on either Tylenol or Aleve just to get through the day and all sporting activity. Even playing with their children became a thing of the past. Reed was 47 and dealing with lower back and leg pain for nearly a decade. By this time, over-the-counter anti-inflammatories had given him a stomach ulcer. He had visited acupuncturists, chiropractors, and massage therapists with little success. He then wound up at the best orthospinal group in Manhattan walking in using a cane to support his right leg, which was aching with chronic and shooting sciatic pain. After many tests, the doctor told Reed he had disc herniations and spinal stenosis, and this was causing pressure on his back nerves and spinal cord. Their answer? More intense drugs. He received a prescription for anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers, and after seven more weeks of taking these, Reed was better. The sciatic pain was cut by 50%, and he was able to limp his way through work and sleep more comfortably, but nothing more. He gained 12 pounds during this period and became increasingly depressed. Upon a follow-up visit with the orthospinal group, Reed discussed further medical options for his condition, now with a surgical specialist. More drugs were certainly not the answer. However, the surgeon now suggested a very strong drug called cortisone be injected directly into his spinal column. The surgeon added, that will definitely nip it in the bud and take care of the problem. And if it doesn't, replied Reed. Well then, the surgeon added, there's always surgery to fix the issue. Reed felt dejected in the thought that drugs and surgery were his only remaining answers. Reed was scheduled for the spinal injection on a Wednesday. The Monday before at work, a coworker noticed how difficult it was for Reed to move as he squirmed around in his chair at a meeting. Reed mentioned he was going for a spinal injection of cortisone in a few days, and he was hopeful this would fix his body. Oh man, the coworker replied. Watch out for that one. They don't last too long and can be pretty dangerous. He explained to Reed that he too had the same injection two years prior, and to this day still had numbness around the injection site on his back. It worked great for about eight months, he added, but I totally wouldn't do it again and I wish I never did it. 
I am worse now than ever before. So what are you doing now? Reed asked, concerned. I'm having some success with acupuncture, yoga, and massage, but it's slow going. If I were you, I'd think twice about going through that shot. The stats on it are pretty bad. This made Reed very concerned. He went back to his desk and immediately researched Google for the facts on what he was about to get into. He was shocked. SpineHealth.com reported, The effects of the injections from an epidural steroid drug tend to be temporary, from one week to one year, and this success rate only occurs in 50% of patients. One study from Ohio concluded that out of the 1,450 surgical cases, only 26% were able to return to work. This is compared to 67% that did return to work after doing something other than a spinal injection and surgery to eliminate their low back problem. For those who opt for spinal surgery, there is a 41% increased chance of further painkiller use, specifically opiates, up to 10 years down the road. And opiates are highly addictive. Complications which occur in many cases include serious infections, permanent nerve damage, and spinal fluid leaks. Yikes! Now Reed was really concerned. He never thought before to question these specialists, but now, after knowing the facts he felt he must, he went back to the spinal surgeon, who was surprised to see him. Aren't you scheduled for an epidural tomorrow? He asked Reed. Well, yeah, doc. You see, that's just it. I don't know that I'm comfortable with all the side effects and low success rate of this procedure. The surgeon just looked down at his chart, appearing a bit annoyed at the questioning. Well, if it doesn't work, we can go in there and cut away the bad disc, and that should fix it. But after researching this statement, Reed knew better, and told the surgeon that he did not trust surgery and feared it would make him worse in the long run and lead to more surgeries down the road. Needless to say, the surgeon didn't like this and felt like Reed was starting to waste his time. Okay, well, look, the surgeon said, ready to walk out the door. This is all we can offer you. I don't know of anything else that will help. More discouraged now than ever, Reed left the surgeon's office with no clue of what to do next. After this, Reed decided to stop back home for a moment. His friendly neighbor noticed him in the backyard, and the two friends had the normal chit-chat about family, lawn, and kids. The neighbor couldn't help but notice how uncomfortable Reed was, leaning to one side to avoid pain. I've been through hell with this thing, Reed told him. The neighbor immediately handed a card to Reed from his wallet, which read, The Low Back Cure, Dr. William Trebbing. My back was terrible for years until my wife convinced me to go to this guy. He's a miracle worker. Totally fixed me up five years ago and I was worse than you, said the neighbor. Reed was skeptical. Oh, I've done this kind of thing before. It didn't really work for me. Just go talk to the guy, the neighbor added. He has a specialized technique that no one else quite does and has an amazing success rate for helping people in worse shape than you. I guarantee you it's like nothing else you've done in the past. Reluctantly, he went back home and researched both Dr. Trebbing and his low back cure technique. Even though the epidural was scheduled for the next morning, he made an appointment to consult with Dr. Trebbing that evening to explore how he could possibly help. He found Dr. Trebbing's sense of humor and confidence in his technique refreshing. He said he had been treating conditions just like this for over 30 years and that he was confident Reed would fall into his 80 to 90% success rate to completely fix his lower back issue. He further explained that Reed's trouble all came from needing proper alignment of his spine and pelvis and that the low back cure is a special patented way of doing this from Dr. Trebbing's extensive experience in the field. Feeling he had nothing to lose in trying, Reed canceled his epidural appointment, much to the chagrin of the surgeon's office, and began treatment with Dr. Trebbing the very next day. Reed was astounded on how good he felt after just one visit. He followed Dr. Trebbing's prescribed treatment plan, and within a few months was completely back to a normal, healthy, pain-free life for the first time in over a decade. The only thing Reed felt pain about now was not discovering this work sooner. After just six weeks, 
he was playing golf and tennis again. After the initial treatment plan of three months, he had his children playing horsey with him again and felt totally cured. Now just to give you some contrast, Todd's case was a bit different. At just 36, he already had two unsuccessful epidural injections and one failed surgery, leaving him in just as much pain as when he started medical interventions. He then opted for a second surgery, which barely improved his situation and left him with a permanent tingling in his right foot. At the time he visited Dr. Trebing on the suggestion of a coworker, he had gained 40 pounds, was dependent on opiate painkillers, and now taking an antidepressant. He told Dr. Trebing he felt like his life was cascading into failure. Well, fortunately as well, things did change for Todd after the course with Dr. Trebing's treatment plan. It took some months of care, but he was able to become pain-free naturally, get back to the gym, and began eating better. After six months, he was completely pain-free for the first time in six years, lost weight, and got back to daily swimming, light running, and flag football. More importantly, he got off all opiates and antidepressants. Now realize that a typical back surgery costs between $80,000 to $150,000. Even if that is covered by insurance, Certain costs like anesthesia and rehab physical therapy may not be covered, and these can jack up out-of-pocket fees upward of $4,000 to $15,000. And you get to pay all of this with a 30 to 55% temporary success rate. Dr. Trebing has dedicated the last 32 years of his life to correcting problems like these that have the ability to cascade into disaster for most people if not properly cared for. His statistical success rate proves his low back cure method is superior to many other forms of spinal therapy. If you are experiencing the same or similar troubles, since you've been so patient through this presentation, please accept this offer of $200 off all initial fees for care and a complimentary consultation with Dr. Trebing to discuss your particular issue. Before you jump down the rabbit hole of drugs and surgery for these issues, you owe it to yourself to try something natural first. Dr. Trebing will do all he can to be certain you fit into his 88% success rate. His methods bring quick results and are highly efficient. The Low Back Cure Method, Dr. William Trebing. The Low Back Cure at Yahoo.com. Dr. William Trebing at Yahoo.com. 203. 661-8122. When leaving a message, press 2 for a new patient. Please visit www.spinalresonance.com.